I came to Las Vegas to work for Frank Sinatra as his social secretary in the mid-60s. I was still called Barbara then. So time, it was very interesting for somebody like myself who was 22 years old to be thrusted into uh, the entertainment industry and then working for Mr. S, as we called him here in Las Vegas, because it gave me a different vantage point. I used to come to Vegas as a tourist then, but then all of a sudden I was Frank Sinatra's social secretary staying at the Sands Hotel. And I learned a lot. Here I was, a Jewish girl from the Bronx, and uh, now I was Frank Sinatra's social secretary. and. Mia Farrow's personal assistant, and uh, it was another world, and a world that I never have dreamt that I would have been in. Um, I was able to drive into all the movie studios, Paramount, the Warner Brothers, where Mr. S, where Frank had reprise records. Um, I went to MGM. Vegas is a, uh, it's a, it's who you know in Vegas, just like Los Angeles, and everyone knew Mr. S, so I was just, you know, right behind him and uh, got to meet a lot of important people and got to meet some fun people and also uh, met a lot of showgirls, met Jack Entrada, just had a really great time and uh, got to fly in and out in a Learjet. Now I tell everybody, you know, I'm working my way down the ladder <laughs> of success, but I love being in Vegas now and I, it's different seeing it uh, 50, 60 years later.